Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas day one. This should be up tomorrow which is the 1st of December which is just mental. I can't believe like we're already in December, it's nearly the end of the year, it's just crazy. Um, my, Facebook, my Facebook feed is literally full, filled up with people putting up their Christmas trees and decorations and and stuff like that and I haven't, to be honest we're having a bit more of a low key one this year and just waiting because I don't know if you remember last year, it feels like yesterday but last year we ended up getting a tree early and we always get a real tree and it was like frazzled, totally bare by like the week before Christmas and it was just like a nightmare. I had to chuck a bare tree out of my house. Um, strip it down completely and thankfully Graham's mum she actually she knew a friend that did loads of little potted ones and they gave us a little potted one I don't know if you remember but it was really small but this year I'm just gonna we're gonna wait we're gonna hold on till like probably the 12th of December at latest um just because of the issue we had last year with our tree just dying but I think it was because the house was just too hot with the log burners going and stuff it just this house is like a sauna um anyway it's half past seven um I've decided to do vlogmas I actually I really wasn't going to do it and I've only literally decided probably like half an hour ago that I was going to do it um I've been really like I don't know um last week I was feeling rough rough as anything like really hormonal um i had like this lingering like horrible kind of it's like a headache like when i'm due on but it's it's kind of like a fluey feel um and i just felt rough last week absolutely rough and i was just yeah i was just walking around it felt like every single day or well, at least three days maybe in four days last week, I just felt like I had this stinking, lingering headache. Um, and just felt awful, really. So yeah, I've been really put off by doing vlogging too much and I haven't really done anything, to be honest, apart from like my groceries and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I've decided to do it because I think I've done it, I did it last year, and I think I did it the year before. So I kind of feel like if I don't do it, I'm... I don't know, I love looking back and I love looking at the memories of what I've done and the Christmassy stuff and to be honest I'm not going to necessarily be vlogging every single um, day just because I have other things to put in place anyway. I've got like the Christmas hauls and, and stuff like that and some crafty hauls and stuff. Uh, maybe even some like Christmassy recipes so it's going to be a mixture not necessarily just like me vlogging um like a day like today to be honest a monday i don't really do much so it's not going to be the best day to be honest but um i thought i would do it anyway violet's actually still asleep so i need to get her up it's like half past seven um alistair's just had breakfast that's pretty much our morning so far and i need to just sort everybody out to get them to school and nursery and it's raining and it's really really windy at the moment it's like gale force winds it was like howling through the house last night. I'm surprised none of the kids woke up. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy Vlogmas anyway. And I'll try and leave... I might even put last year's into a playlist so you can watch that. Because that it's quite nice looking back. The kids look tiny. It's only been a year and they look tiny. Everyone, so I'm back from the school run. I've actually just been like putting makeup on and just sorting myself out. Because today I'd usually go to the gym but I haven't got time. I've got the dentist at half eleven. And... Um, I've got to do a couple of videos that needs to get up and be out like one today and then you know just you know Christmassy ones that I just basically want to pre-record um yeah it's like 25 past nine so I'm just going to crack on with videos I've just changed beds uh, before we went so the washing machine's on it's making so much noise so I'm gonna have to like shut all doors to make sure I can film a video um yeah and then I'm helping Graham after I get back from the dentist so I don't really have time, like much time to, like to do stuff today, like even to go to the gym or just, you know, regular chores and stuff. But yeah, it's basically planned for a boring day or vlogmas day one. This is one video that I'm gonna do, which is a review on the Scale Electrics. Um, I'm actually doing a giveaway as well, so you can actually win one of these. Really good, honestly, really, really worth it. Okay, first video done. I'm gonna edit it now because this is one that needs to be up today, so. 
yeah, I've done it in one go, which is a miracle for me sometimes. It takes me ages sometimes because I just get tongue twisted. Um, look at my um, Christmas chaos. This is, um, yeah, just family Christmas presents that I've wrapped up in a couple that obviously I need to do some wrapping for. Um, but I need to do my Christmas, you know, for the kids and stuff to do videos on that. So I can't wrap them yet. But I've got plenty of time. So anyway, God, look at the chaos. Look at the chaos of everything. Um, yeah, I'm going to edit it anyway. This is my video, so I'm just going to edit that down quick. Okay, so I'm actually off to the dentist now. Um, oh, I always forget something. I'm my phone. Yeah, just brush my teeth, floss them. Hopefully, she will think they're fine. I never usually have any problems with my teeth, thank God. Um, yeah, let's see how we go. <laughs> Just getting back home. I was actually in there. I was waiting longer than I actually sat on the chair for. Um, just really quick checkup, which is really good. And they've um, scheduled my appointments now every nine months, so that's good. I have to do it every six months. I actually booked Violet in to have her teeth looked at the same time as Alistair in January. Um, she's so frightened, so frightened. I mean, she's come with us like all the time, but she will not sit on that chair. Um, so. I'm hoping now she's four she does keep saying oh now I'm a big girl I can do this that and the other so hopefully um, if I kind of give her enough notice of like you will be going to the dentist at some point um, she will why are the dogs doing out hey what are you doing um, hopefully she will get more confident and yeah be a bit more braver she really hates it though she hates the dentist she hates the doctor even when i take her i actually don't like taking her when i need to go because she just freaks out she just doesn't like it um and it's not like she's never been you know she's been loads times before with me and just generally for like her jabs and stuff but yeah hopefully get a bit better graham might be home maybe that's why the dogs are out he might be out we need to sort out the pig pen Right, just gonna help Graham. Uh, we're supposed to move the pigs around last week, but Graham had so much work on and we're actually moving their house and we've made their pen a lot bigger and I helped him put the poles in the ground um, last week, but we just need to, well, he needs to finish it off and I don't know what he wants me to do, to be honest. years ago, we, we basically got all of this. Oh, he's already done a lot of the wiring. This fencing, that's what I meant, not wiring. So, yeah, I think we're gonna love it. That as well is like a little, well, once it fills up in like rainwater, it's like a little bath, you know. I, mean, I love that. Just doing the electric fence. Sit, sit. Look how massive he is. Cheers. How filthy you are, Nichols. Hello. random daffodil growing again in this weather it's crazy it's an old one hmm. and lots of weeds around it successful I've just come in and gonna make us some lunch we're gonna have tomato soup it's good that the pigs move really easily uh, Graham's just sorting out the electric side of it just to keep them in 
See anything? Christmassy? It's pretty packed up there, isn't it? Huh? It's pretty packed up there. Yes. <laughs> just picked up Violet from nursery. Um, I'm just, I've just got an email to say that my giveaway can go live, so that's exciting. Giveaway up and running. Violet's just having a quick snack over there, watching a bit of Paw Patrol before we go pick up Alistair from school. Grim literally has been searching high and low for our Christmas decorations. He pulled out a box and a bag, but I have such a sneaky feeling that there's more up there, um, like an actual proper brown box. Um, so I think I'm gonna have a look when we get back from school to see if there's more up there. Um, but yeah, it's good to get all the Christmas stuff out there. But the only sad thing is, I kind of feel like I can't put Christmas stuff out until I get my Christmas tree. It just doesn't feel right otherwise. So yeah, I have to dig out for the Advents and fill them in. Obviously they've got their toy ones, which they've never had before. So it's quite a big luxury really. Um, but I usually do them, I'll show you them anyway once I get them out, but I've had them for quite a few years and they really like them. They've got their own little pockets from each day. It's like a fabric one. Um, yeah, so I'll probably sort that out and fill that out for tomorrow. Hi everyone, so we are back home. It's like 25 to 4 already. I had to get petrol and stuff like that, so it took a little bit of time to get home. Um, yeah, the kids are Play-Doh. We've got a couple of like play-doh bags and stuff like that um lately they've been pretty much obsessed with plasticine and play-doh they got like a little pot of plasticine from when we went to that youtube kids event thingy and they absolutely love it um alistair's you've actually there's some plasticine in there. it's turned into a gray mess now but yep i made it never mind but yeah they're just playing I'm nice. keeping busy we're actually having pie for dinner. Graham brought home some pies, so I was like, although I wanted to do my slow cooker chicken because I couldn't do it yesterday. Um, let's turn this off. No point in having telly on, is there? Um, yes, yeah, so we're gonna have pies instead. <laughs> so a pie mash and veg, easy and it's tasty. And I'm my Christmas stuff out. Um, I still think there's more though. But so they're like wool um, stockings how cute they are so they've got one each there's one bigger than the other for some random reason so Alice always has the bigger one because he's the oldest but it doesn't really make a difference because they're really stretchy but that's there and then some like crafts from last year they did look at those their Christmas sacks tinsel I don't really like tinsel so I don't actually use tinsel on the tree this little ooh, a little door sign I knew there was more missing though, I just knew it because I haven't got the advents and they must be in a separate box somewhere. So you don't have to buy any Christmas cards. I don't send many to be honest, I get nicer ones for like family and really close friends and then Alistair can send those to school and nursery. These are like the more sentimental, nicer um, decorations. The kids' hands. I have got a how-to on how to do these hands actually, but that was by like 25 months. I don't think I did them last year. And Alistair, who was four years, seven months, which is crazy. Like, Violet's four years old now. Um, yeah, these little robins, I like those. How cute they are. Found the extra box, it even has a label on. So, Graham, I don't know how he missed it. It wasn't really that hard to find, but you could tell anyway with this. God knows what that is. Ah! Oh, angels that didn't have to buy anything, loads of hats, ears and stuff. Like it's okay, pack pretty much everything away, even like their plates. Don't have to worry about buying any of those. We've got quite a few. Oh no, this is the special one. This is for the big man. I got this, um a lot of people were doing them, but I actually ordered it from eBay, I think. So it just has lots of love from Alistair and Violet. It's kind of a little sentimental Plate. I think it's about 10 or 15 pounds. I think actually it's only been like a year, well 11 months since I packed all this stuff away but I totally, you just totally forget about what you have. I've got so much. I've even got crackers, like crackers, napkins, these little tea lights, these are cute. I've got lots of wreath making stuff as well because last year I made my own wreath um, just with like natural resources or seed just 
like using local or our like bushes and holly bushes and trees and stuff I might even do a how to on that let me know if you want to see because it's so easy to make your own reef and it's not expensive either I did actually pick up some um, extra like berry like fake berry twigs and stuff in Wilkinson's about probably about a month ago now they were like 99 pence and stuff so I picked a couple of those up actually but they're quite nice for I have um, like this that goes around my um, fireplace and it's nice just to stick extra like berries in and stuff just to make it slightly more festive but not like tacky and make it look quite um, sort of classic, you know. Just got myself in a right tiz. I've been searching high and low for these advents that I just keep talking about that you probably already have seen a lot from last year and previous years. Advents. They've both got one. They're from Button Bag. Buttonbag.co.uk or .com, I don't know. But you basically make them yourself. And um, well, we've had them for a good two or three years now, maybe three years, I think. We've got to put chocolates but, in. Ah, we'll see. No. But yeah, well, you can just put whatever does. you want in them. And uh, like last year, I put like little craft things on a couple of them and well, you know, Christmas stuff them with does. other things can other you than put some chocolate. Stuff in, um, tomorrow? We'll see, okay? On my door. I thought yeah, you were playing Play Doh. Oh, yeah! So, yeah, oh, no. that's the events got lots of coins like chocolate ones so I'm just gonna fill them with she's obviously pulled that one one of those a day I think okay they are all filled and I, actually weirdly enough I only had just enough literally for 24 each so that was super duper lucky so yeah and actually they're really good wow over the few years of doing it they've never opened an extra day or anything they're really really good so that's sorted anyway. I was panicking about that. I just obviously had the advent and I didn't put them away with the Christmas stuff last year. I think that's why I was panicking. I, they were in the office. Um, five past four. I'm going to start on peeling potatoes. Oh my god, Alistair, that is so funny. It's really good. I like, love his hands. It looks Mommy. kind of freaky. Look what I make. What are you making? That's full. I made doesn't. I, I made a smiley face. And mm. Yeah, he's cute. Love his hat. I was just going to make a um, coffee and then I realised I've only got espressos left. Which is kind of annoying. So I thought, well, this needs using before it goes out of day. So you haven't, Graham just doesn't really, he's not that phased on these. To be honest, they're quite small in like size, um, like the cup full. So I think I might just have one of these. Nice hot chockey. Is that a new invention or something? Oh, yeah. I don't think that's going to work out that well, Alistair. Can you get it out? Yep. Use your hands, babe. Got these yummy pies again from the market. Mud food. Mud food? Yeah, mudfood.com. This one is. Oh, it did say there. Steak and kidney. I think that's probably Graham. But they, they're so nice. Sort of like homemade pastry and. They're just so filling as well. Our dinner is ready. Graham actually is going to be home late, so yeah. It's quarter past five. I've lately, because he's been coming home more like half past five, I've been staggering dinner so we can have dinner together because we usually eat at five, but I've been staggering it so we can eat about half five. But he messaged me and was just like, I'm going to be home really late. I'm not going to be home to about six. So yeah, I try to speed it up a little bit. I've got pie. So got a Call them in, and I've got a lamp. Put your hat on, Daddy. Come on, join in. I've got to find mine. Where's yours? I need to find mine. Put your flashy ears on. I, I can't find it. Oh, it's run out of battery. Let's have a look at that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. We're all uh, Christmas out. I think I wore this last Christmas while I was cooking dinner. It's quite old though. Sounds like it's dying. <laughs> what time is it? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. What does that mean? Oh, six. The what? sooner you go to bed, the why sooner you can open your advent. But why have we only got chocolate coins in our things? Oh, I looked in there. Is that really disappointing? One. Shall I have them then? I looked in every one. <gasps> I looked in Violet's. You didn't. And I looked in mine. There were all chocolate coins. Wow. There's one with a two. What was 
gold or silver. Yeah, so, but when do you eat them? When, Christmas. When, when it's Christmas. Well, no, every day. Every day, only one, yeah? Yeah. Um, this is that, we eat one. Not today. Is this a one day? Tomorrow. Tomorrow is <laughs> December. <laughs> Can we, when, we, when we go to sleep, um, when we go to sleep, you can wake us up, smack us on the bottom, then, <laughs> then, then get, get my calendar and Violet, then we can both have, uh, um, we'll oh, see. Um, um, just take a look. Let's we'll see what happens, Robin Hood. A story. Mm -hmm. Read this one. It's a pop up one. The Christmas. Hi everyone, so I'm actually going to just edit down this video, Graham's just gone to put the chicken to bed, the kids are asleep or kind of, they've gone to bed so hopefully they go off soon. Um, yeah we are, wow, we are basically addicted to Scandal and we're on series 2 episode 16, like we're right near the end, nearly on series 3 so we're going to probably watch a couple tonight with a nice cup of tea and yeah I'll hopefully catch up with you with a few more vlogs um throughout vlogmas um and yeah i hope you enjoy it